plant your foot right there. Yeah. And then right here where my foot is, right. is the way to get through there. Yep, just keep leaning forward. Now what? <laughs> now you just shimmy on by. <laughs> I don't like that. Let me come grab your hand. Well, hey there, guys. We drove to Nevada, where we hope to spend the next week or so hiking and exploring, especially at a state park later in the week, which has been on our bucket list for a while. And on the way, we stopped by seven magic mountains, and we had to pull over and take a look. Yeah, there are these seven towers of, of boulders that have been <laughs> painted and stacked on top of each other up to 30 feet high, mm -hmm. uh, just out in the desert. And the colors, right. the bright colors, just kind of... Uh, it has a stark contrast to the mm -hmm. natural color of the Mojave Desert. It's been there since 2016, and it was only supposed to be there a couple of years, but it's still there right now. I don't yeah. know how long it'll be. So if you get a chance, stop by and take a look at that. It was really cool. We really enjoyed that. We did. After leaving Seven Magic Mountains, we've stopped at Hoover Dam and Lake Mead National Recreation Area, uh, just outside Boulder City, Nevada. Uh, we saw the Michael Callahan and Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge from top of the dam. Mm -hmm. Saw some really great views oh, of that. Wow, yeah. And then we actually walked across <laughs> that bridge and saw some great views oh, yeah. of the Hoover Dam, right? Right. Get it from both sides. There were great views everywhere around. Yeah, it was. Uh, but the best views I think we saw were at Lake Mead itself and the oh, surrounding mountains, right? It was so beautiful. Just stunning. Uh, we hiked on uh, the railroad tunnel trail, uh -huh. so that was really cool. It was. It had all those tunnels to go through. And that railroad was built just to bring supplies to build Hoover Dam. Pretty amazing. And it was. Um, that trail just features some great views of Lake Mead, mm -hmm. kind of immerses you in these rocks and canyon yeah. sections. And, of course, it passes through five mm -hmm. fun tunnels that we got to walk through as right. well. So that was, that's been some fun stops on mm -hmm. the way to here. Uh, today we're in Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area uh, for three short, fun hikes that we hear are pretty amazing that we want to share with you guys as well. Let's go. Let's go. For our first hike of the day, we're at Calico Hills. Yeah, this is the first stop on the 13-mile scenic drive, which means it's quite popular and usually busy throughout the day. It's a good thing to know before you head out that the Scenic Drive is one way and all the trails are accessible from it. So if you miss one, you can't just turn around and go back to it. There are a lot of different ways you can hike Calico Hills. You can do up to a six miler out here, or you can do some individual sections, some out and backs that are one to two miles long, or you can just walk out here and scramble around on the rocks for a while. So there's an eight-tenths of a mile trail that leads to the visitor center and we stayed on that for just a little bit but then we just jumped off and started exploring through the rocks it's a lot of fun yeah it's a little bit of a slot canyon here and a lot of a, a wash that you can kind of play around in and plenty of places to climb up on the rocks and some wonderful views from down in here
What do you think, Paula? It's gorgeous out here. Well, we ended up hiking about 1.7 miles back at Calico Hills, just kind of exploring that slot canyon and the wash and uh, kind of scrambling around on the rocks. I really like a trail like that where you can go off on your own and just explore wherever you want. Yeah, choose your own adventure. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was. But we've driven on down the scenic road just a short distance to Calico Tanks. Yeah, this was the one trail that we knew we wanted to hike when we decided to come to this park, mm -hmm. so we're really excited about this one. Calico Tanks is a 2.2 mile out and back. It's rated moderate and it is the most popular trail in the area. We hear there's a lot of amazing scenery and views out here. A bit of rock scrambling towards the end and plenty of ah moments. <laughs> there is an entrance fee to get into the park and a timed entry reservation. It's $20 a day, but if you have a National Parks Pass like we do, the entrance fee is covered. It is in the low to mid 30s right now. We actually started to get in a little bit of snow a couple of minutes ago. You can see off in the distance, we may get a little white stuff coming on us today. this is named Elephant Rock or not, but it certainly should be. You see the elephant? Nice job. Thank you. Let's climb some more. It is snowing a bit. I hope these rocks don't get too slick. I don't know what's on the other side. We get to the top, I don't know what kind of view awaits us, but I'm not sure it can be better than this. Simply amazing. One little sketchy area here, but I think this is the way to do it. There we go. Easy peasy, Paula. There are some footholds, so you do not want to fall down that. <laughs> yep, yeah, just keep leaning forward. <laughs> now you just shimmy on by. <laughs> it is pretty cool, Paula. Well, we made it to the turnaround point and it has been an amazing hike. It has all the way. It has been beautiful, scrambling at the end. A little, one little section was a little sketchy, a little sketchy. But, but it's been just amazing the whole way. Views all around. Yeah, from the moment you left the parking lot, there has not been a bad view. No. It has been just one cool thing after another to see on this way. It's one of our favorites that we've ever done. It is for sure. We say that a lot and we hope we continue to say it all throughout the, the year, right? Yeah. Well, we're going to head back and try to warm up a little bit and grab something to eat and then we'll see you for the next hike. Our final hike of the day is Icebox Canyon. Yeah, it's a 2.3 mile out and back that's rated moderate, has 577 feet of climbing. We hear it's pretty easy early on, but then there's some scrambling and quite a bit of ascent towards the end. We're gonna get going because it's still cold out here. <laughs> it's cold. We need to warm up a bit. 
Icebox Canyon is a naturally cool area anyway, and we're afraid today it's going to be naturally cold because it's really cold out here. There are a lot of great hikes in the Red Rock Canyon area, and we had a hard time deciding which one to do for this third one. We went ahead and chose Icebox Canyon because it is rated very highly, and we saw some really good reviews about what we might see out here today. So far, I can tell you, we are not disappointed in the decision. <laughs> the tricky portion has begun a lot of rocks a lot of water everything's kind of slick through here so it's gonna be a little bit hard to navigate but we got this I think I like the slick rocks better. <laughs> well, that's been an adventure. <laughs> this is one of the craziest things we've ever done. I know. We don't know if we're going the right way, the wrong way. But... If we didn't have the All Trails app going uh, with our GPS located all the time, we would have no idea <laughs> where we were at or what we were doing. Uh, there's, there's really no defined path. It's just continue to, fi to follow the water. Find rocks that are not too dry. The, I mean, the too wash and, and just try to... Yeah make your way towards the top and sometimes that's been scrambling over rocks sometimes it's been getting your feet wet sometimes it's been navigating through some thick brush uh, it's just been a it's been a, a challenge it has but it's been fun it has been fun bear crawling your way to the top you but that last hike wore me out yeah that was a little tougher than i expected <laughs> especially with the water because it was a little slick and we had to navigate a little more cautiously than there's maybe there's no we clear path up there when you get to the rocks you just have to find your own way and right so... we did follow the all trails <laughs> app as much as possible that mm -hmm. kind of kept us on yeah, track yeah but but it was a lot of fun it was fun and a great payoff at the end yeah the waterfall was really pretty yeah it's it's been a great day and to think that not too long ago we had never even heard of red rock canyon at all no i never heard of it and so we were researching places to hike in the area and found this and what a fantastic area a great day yeah it, it rivals uh, national parks i mean yes. it is it is fantastic we love it uh, you know what else we love? We love getting something to eat after we've had a long day of hiking. It's been a great day, and I am hungry. Me too. Let's go get something to eat. So this place is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. And we've been waiting for Wednesday to get here. And it is barbecue day. And it looks like a lot of other people have been waiting for Wednesday also, because it's packed. Let's go get a table. Let's go. So we are at Fox Smokehouse Barbecue in Boulder City, Nevada. And I ordered something with an unusual name. And I ordered a feast. <laughs> I ordered the Oklahoma wedding cake, also known as a loaded baked potato. Somebody and I ordered the create your own combo, which is way more loaded than her potato is. 
This thing is huge. It's a one pound potato with butter, cheese, sour cream, chives, and your choice of meat, and I chose burnt ends. So I ordered the create your own combo, which comes with a half pound of your choice of meat. I chose burnt ends, which the server said is known as meat candy around here. Also got mac and cheese, french fries, corn on the cob, and cornbread. Their mac and cheese was voted best in the state on Yelp. It's very rich and creamy with just a little hint of jalapeno in it. Fox Smokehouse Barbecue was listed as one of the 25 best places to eat barbecue in the United States at TravelAndLeisure.com. It is also the number one rated restaurant in Boulder City according to TripAdvisor.com and we can definitely see why. So I love cornbread and this is really good stuff. It's very light and it almost tastes like cake. And none of our meals are ever complete without dessert. We couldn't resist getting some banana pudding, which we don't get very often. Yeah, but the only time we get it is when we have barbecue, so it's kind of a no-brainer when it's on the menu. Sorry, I'm going with the cookie. <laughs> Real good. Delicious. Mission accomplished. Well, that barbecue was amazing. Oh, it was so good. It definitely lived up to all the hype that we read about it. It exceeded all of my expectations. <laughs> Me too, and now I am stuffed. Yeah, I think my capacity to hold food has been exceeded as well. <laughs> I am stuffed also. We have had a great time in this area, haven't yeah. we? But unfortunately, that time is now up because we need to move on uh, to a state park that's been on our bucket list for a long time. So we'll see you when we get there. That's it for our mission. What's your mission? There are a lot of different options for how you hike. I can't even talk. <laughs> totally missed that. <laughs> Like, fail, fail, take two. <laughs> just lean back into the rock. I didn't fall. I was sitting down. He got you. <laughs> he got me. Well, I don't know about you, but that last ha haiku, that last haiku. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I am going to walk this towards you for a good shot in three two one well i don't know about you but that last ha hack <laughs> what is a hack or a haiku can i not say hi you get to run well hey guys it's jimmy here our mission in every episode of this vlog is to share one of our fun-filled adventures with you guys but our greater mission in life is to share our hope and happiness with you one of the ways we do this is by giving away digital copies of my book which we believe will help you in your own spiritual journey. You can get it at no cost by dropping by thereisgraceforyou.com and then clicking on the download button to read it on your favorite device. There's no list to join, no price to pay. It's just our way of trying to be a blessing to you. There are 40 short daily readings in the book that will take you about a minute each to read. So if you're interested in some positive messages to encourage you in your faith, I hope you'll check it out.